What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast, here, and today, welcome back to some more Blade and Sorcery here on the channel. And as for today, we're going right back to our roots, as you guys can tell. We are back within the OG home here within the game. And this place just holds so much nostalgia to me personally, because this is where I grew on YouTube, man. And not only are we just going back to this older version, but I also have the full body tracking activated for this one as well. And I am just so happy to have the chance to go back here and just have a great time here for another video. And also, not to mention, this is going to be the first video that we do of 2024. I felt like this is going to be a great way to kick off the year and just get started with content, man. Because I know plenty of you guys out there have been wanting so much more Blade and Sorcery gameplay. And let me tell you guys, we're going to be doing more Bone Lab. We're going to be doing more Blade and Sorcery. And we're just going to be exploring a ton of other VR titles. So prepare yourselves. This year is going to be incredible. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video and would like to see more content made on Blade and Sorcery, then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all of your content we post. But other than that, guys, I think it's about time we go and adventure the older version of U9.3. So many of you guys may be wondering why I'm going and revisiting the older versions of Blade and Sorcery. And I'll go ahead and explain that, like, throughout some of the combat that we're going to be doing here within the game. But some of the main reasons why I just love the older versions is because I generally believe they were so much more PC-focused. And a reason behind that is the fact that Nomad wasn't a thing yet. And there are good things about Nomad. Like, don't get me wrong, Nomad was a great addition for the fact of just allowing more people to play Blade and Sorcery. Like, by no means was that a bad decision. The only thing that kind of sucks is the fact that they actually focused so much more on the Nomad build, where they actually kind of went and basically nerfed the PC version of this game. Because if you guys don't know, the graphics of this version look like margins better than U11 and U12. Like, I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but just even the characters, the way that they look here within this build is just seriously incredible, man. I just love the look of the player models. I feel like the skin tones were a lot more matching. You didn't have as much of, like, the Play-Doh hands within the game either. It just felt overall super, super nice. But obviously, one of the worst parts about this version was the performance. I know anyone out there that was playing during the time of U9.3, you guys know how the build ran. It was definitely not the smoothest thing, and most of the time when you were playing with anything above two to three enemies at a time, the performance was tanking, dude. I don't know what happened for, like, optimization within this update, man, but it was freaking brutal. No joke about it. It was not, <laughs> not the best on that front. But holy cow, can I tell you guys, the modding scene was flourishing during this time, man. There were so many elements being made. There were so many weapons being made, VFX spells, time stop spells, man. There was just so much stuff happening in Blade and Sorcery at all times. And I just freaking loved this time of like content creation was just absolutely fantastic. Like Blade and Sorcery did not feel any better than it did at this moment in U9.3. Like legit, all the content that I was creating at this time was legitimately just like blade and sorcery content and that was basically it man it was ridiculous how much i was actually honestly playing this game because oh my gosh this man just dodged me again okay well let's go and kick you out of here okay oh my god he got freaking clothesline but yeah there was just some type of novelty about this version of blade man like i just love the feeling of how the combat felt i just love the quality of the characters it just felt like it just felt more like a pc game you know what i mean i feel like in the newer versions it became a lot more about nomad and that just to me was kind of a slap in the face as you know as a pc fan that's been following this game for literally so long but granted was nomad a good thing of course it was i want more people to be able to experience the love of what blade and sorcery is i mean this game is just an absolute blast man if you're a sandbox lover and you just want to go and have some fun and burn some steam and just honestly not take gaming too seriously this is the way to freaking do it man but also can i just go and grab this sword please i just want to go and uh oh you need to back up okay one second i need to go jibbity chop all right i have easy dismemberment on and i'm gonna just chop literally everything in the game thank you thank you but also i want to ask you guys 
would you be down for me to go and actually revisit a lot of the old mods that I used to cover years ago here within Bladed Sorcery, man? Because, dude, I would be so freaking down to go and do, like, the gun game mods, to go and do some Shatterblade coverage, to go and do Time Stop. Like, there is just so much stuff that we could potentially do in this version, and I am just beyond down to go and cover that for y'all. But let me go and grab my sword back. Dude, even just, like, the look of the armor. Am I crazy? Or does the armor just look so much more, I guess, polished in this version? Like, the metallic, like, reflections just look so good on it. Am I crazy for saying that? Or is it just that I haven't played U12 in so long and I'm tripping, dude? Because I swear, the blood looked greater, the skin tones looked, like, amazing. Even just, like, the hand decals and all that stuff. Like, it just looked really freaking solid in this version of Blade, man. Like, it just feels so freaking amazing. Where did my sword go? There's just something so nostalgic about playing this version of Blade, man, because I'm not kidding you guys. This was legit so much of my YouTube journey initially while I was playing, man. Like, all the content I was creating was basically in this time and era of Blade and Sorcery. And I'm sure a lot of you guys that have watched my videos over the years, this is probably how you found me, man. I was just rocking Canyon, playing a lot of the arena, and just going and doing so much mod coverage within the game. And dude, that was just such a time to be alive. There's so many videos that I can just like, I'm walking down memory lane, just standing here and playing in this version, man. Like it is night and day. When you go and play like in different updates, like of games, you will definitely notice how different those versions are. And I'm so glad that Blade and Sorcery on Steam allows you to go back and actually experience these, man. Because I would be so bummed if I wasn't able to still go back and play some of these versions, man. Because, dude, U9.3, like I told you guys, is by far one of the best ones out there, dude. Performance-wise, obviously, it's not as great. But, dude, it is just a treat to go and revisit. I am just loving every single second of this and another thing i had mentioned in the older video that i went and did on u6 was the fact that the animations just feel so much better in this version as well like i don't know what it was but i feel like ever since the new updates and stuff there was a little bit of an issue with how the characters actually like came after you so if you notice these enemies, they'll come and walk up and they'll try to actually fight me from a pretty decent distance. But within the new versions on like U10, U11, or U12, you'll kind of notice them just walking and hugging you like this all the time when you're like trying to have combat. Like you legit just can't, you know, have a really good fight on those like newer newer versions of Blade and Sorcery. And it's, it's a shame to see because they already had the brains working in this version. All they had to do was just continue with what they had, or at least build a new brain system that wasn't as poor. One of the nicest parts about this is the fact that they actually go and challenge and switch out depending on their position, dude. Like when they see an opening, basically within like this level, the enemies will choose when to actually go and challenge to go and fight, they'll switch out. And also just like their positioning just feels a lot more natural than it does in the new ones. Maybe I'm crazy, man, but I'm sure some of you guys out there, if you've played, you know, the OG Blade and Sorcery and then went to the new one, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about when I mention the fact of being hugged. Because, like, dude, you just, you can't get those really satisfying parries when they're just hugging you the entire time, you know what I mean? Like, it just feels so much better in this, dude. Oh, man. I just, I love Blade and Sorcery, and all I want to see is this game do better and better as the years go forward. Granted, I am so excited for Crystal Hunt. I cannot wait for that to drop. And obviously just to see like what the devs decide to do when it comes down to more of like their, their updates in the near future. Cause man, Blade and Sorcery has always been just one of those top tier titles that almost, oh my God, <laughs> almost everybody knows. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's such a staple in the VR industry. And I'm sure if you've ever even seen VR or if you ever plan on getting VR, Blade and Sorcery has been brought up at least once to twice within discussion but man i'm just a happy happy soul to be able to go and do this as my first coverage for 2024 bro it doesn't even feel real that it's already the new year man i was not expecting 2023 to go as fast as it did bro like legit it feels like i blinked and the entire year was already over man like i don't know if anyone else felt that way too but it just feels like the last few years actually have kind of just blurred together 
You know, like, it's just been so fast-paced, and maybe that's just because, like, you know, I basically wake up, do YouTube, go to bed, and repeat every single day, but I wouldn't change it for the world, dude. I've had so much enjoyment in making content, and especially within the virtual reality genre, man. Like, this has been legit some of the best years of YouTube I have ever done up until this point, man. I used to be a, you know, a Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber, and I did a lot of multiplayer coverage, but now being able to go and just have fun with a lot of, like, indie studio, like, titles and just experiment with a ton of new games i feel like there's just so much more freedom to go and do within the vr community but like i said guys if you want to see me do some more mod coverage on this version let me know some recommendations of what you would like to see in the future for some of these videos man like i've already got the shattered blade on the list i've already got time slow for sure and then also dude this would be like kind of perfect timing to go and do this we should do some freaking attack on titan coverage bro like attack on titan with the you know the finale coming in and all that stuff it'd be kind of cool to go ahead and revisit the og like blade and sorcery attack on titan mod i would be more than freaking open to doing something like that but god the combat just feels so freaking good oh and the full body oh i forget how strong the kicks are in this game <laughs> it's just freaking fantastic and um i don't know what i did to you lady but i'll be taking this thank you um, I'm going to take your leg. Sir, I'm trying to grab her leg. Is that too much to ask? I just want to beat you with a freaking leg. Okay? Can I actually, like, kill him with this? I'm going to kill you with the leg! Okay? Back up. There's so much blood. Oh, my God. Oh! All right. And now it's time for you to get knocked the heck out. Ugh! Taking him down. Dude, I feel like I'm going, like, back in years to my OG YouTube days. It's like Blade and Source was just, like, overflowing through my body and i absolutely love it Ugh! oh perfect dude he like landed right on me you know what guys i actually want to go and switch over to 1v1s because i want to try to focus on like the parrying system within the game because that sounds really really fun to go and try out now so i will be right back i must go over to the book and go and start a new thing so goodbye you must die and you also you want to run you want to go okay perfect that's one way to do it. Join my blade. You know what, guys? I think I'm actually going to go and try the progressive 1v1. Because it allows only one person to be alive at a time. But it goes up to 34 spawns. So I guess we can just, like, go and fight these enemies while I just kind of talk and chat with y'all. Because honestly, that should work perfect for what we're planning on doing for this video. And it looks like... Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh, my goodness. We get right off the bat the most satisfying combat within the game, bro. Anytime that I see the rapier, it is just such a fun, like, blade to play against because it just feels like they always go for a lot more, like, follow-ups, and it's just, it's really, really entertaining. There's just something so nice about going against this blade because the fact that they always, like, do follow-ups, and it's also just got a really nice hit register where it's easy to block, man. So it's just like that type of combat within blade is just freaking so entertaining. But you, ma'am, you must die. Oh! Oh! She just got stuck on the line. <laughs> what did I just witness? I keep stabbing myself. Oh, I just accidentally stabbed myself. Can we pull this out, please? Okay, one, one second. I, I got a blade stuck in my stomach. Let me grab it. Oh. Okay, so this is the one thing that's a little bit rough. Um, okay, sir, just just wait. I got a blade stuck in my back. Can I push it out? Okay, one, one sec. I just need... Oh, now I got to suck in my hand. Okay, we can, we can move this. We got it. We got... It. Oh, it's going further in. Oh, no, I'm trying to... There we go. Oh, my... Whoa! What the heck? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, my God. In all of the years I have played Blade and Sorcery, I have never witnessed that. What the actual heck just happened? Is that my old blade? Did I find it back? <gasps> you beautiful thing. Thank you. I got it, like, stuck in my back, and then I grabbed it, and it just flew my body forward, dude. I found out a complete new way to fly. But, yeah, like I was saying, guys, the combat in this version just feels so freaking buttery smooth, dude. Like, there's just something so, so well done about it. And I think it's just not only the pacing of the enemies, but I also feel it's just, like, the distance that they try to keep from you when they're fighting, man. Like, it's just, it's so good. And, like, their animations to, like, follow up on hits and even, like, dodges. Like, if you notice... Oh, well, that's, uh, 
Not really the best way to go and showcase that, so we'll go and get rid of you just for a moment, okay? I'm gonna wait for one of your friends to come by and come and say hello, all right? What does that sound? I'm gonna take your little dagger and just shoot that right into your back. But I will be grabbing this. Thank you. So, like I was saying before, it's just, like, something about the actual combat and the way their AI acts in this original version. Like, they'll actually go and dodge. If I go for, like, kind of, like, a head slash, you'll notice she'll actually try to dip and dodge every now and then. Unless, let's see. Let's see if I can get her to actually dodge. Okay, this girl might actually be on recruit difficulty or something, bro, because she is not dodging a single thing. I was trying to go and showcase, you know, the brains and how they work in this, but it only... It only seems like every now and then they want to go and dodge my shots, but dude even just looking at like the avatar right here Dude, like you can just see so much detail with this skin dude. Am I crazy? Like I don't think I've ever seen it like this distinct In any other version of the game like there's no freaking way in any way shape or form I've ever seen it look to this quality in anything like above you 9.3 like, the lighting just looks incredible. The skin, like, the way the light is reflecting off the skin there, dude. It's just, it looks fantastic. And I feel like in the newer versions, they settled on going for quest quality. And that's the thing that kind of bugs me. I'm not really against them going and focusing on progressing Nomad. Because all in all, that is where the market's at. And I completely respect that decision. What I don't appreciate is the fact when you have a game that's like this good, it was already done so well... And you go and depreciate it for the sake of another community. You know? Like, they already had this in the game. They already had the files. They already had it developed. Why not continue with what you're already building, which was already fantastic? If it was due to optimization, I can understand it to a certain extent. But, like, dude, you already have these textures. And they look incredible. Like, why not keep them? I don't get it. And that right there was the main reason it took me so long to go and do update videos of like the new version of Blade and Sorcery, new update, blah, 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 blah. Like it took me so long to go and cover videos on there just because it, like I saw it and I just, it wasn't, it wasn't the Blade and Sorcery I knew. But granted, like I've said a thousand times, I still love this game. I still follow the franchise and I freaking love it. And I only hope to see the future of this game grow because man, Blade and Sorcery will always have a special place in my heart. Well, on that, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to make it for this video here on Blade and Sorcery VR. If you did end up enjoying it and would like to see more content made on this game, then be sure to smash that mother fracking thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all the content we post. But other than that, guys, as always, keep it toasty, my friends. Latest. I got some shells for you, boy! Oh, it's in his eye! Oh, I fixed it! I wouldn't no. die! Well, right no, here. No. Oh! <laughs> Armageddon! Yeah! Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences!